for this processing you're also gonna need um uh, this type of uh, fryer. This is deep fryer. You can get this at Walmart. You know that can regulate your temperature, 200, uh, 250, all the way to 350. So, uh, for you to kind of boil you, um, your teeth, and then take the wax off the mod, off the models and the teeth. Uh, in order to do that, you're gonna need um, vinegar and soap. You have to put a vinegar in the water like white vinegar and the soap so i mean i'm not using this that's why it's kind of a little dry and messy right there but you're gonna need one deep fryer like that or two of them one for a dirty water another for clean water so you're gonna rinse it off with the hot hot boiling water in order to uh, get your teeth clean so uh you're gonna need your compressor you're gonna need the air compressor for your uh pressure pot uh, this is my pressure pot. I have a few of them. So uh, the pressure pot, the air, the air goes connected to um, this area over here, and then uh, you can see the uh, pressure psi. You has to get it all the way to 20 or 25 psi. So um, this is what all you need, and your separators. You know your separators, and uh, you'll be good to go. Here is the lower. Um, I'm working on putting the lower teeth back in. You always have to be careful. Um, this is a little uncomfortable to do. Um, sometimes the teeth comes right out of your hands. I have a really big fingers and it's kind of a hard to squeeze on there, but as you can see, um, almost done. And with here with the last tooth. So you just kind of like secure and make sure everything is in place, um, looking good, and put your models back. Uh, here was you become chemist. So I'm using uh, 30 gram here and then uh, I need uh, 16 at least milliliters of monomer to mix so 16 16 you can see 16 right there liquid first and the powder the mix Then you put the liquid in, then well, um, here it is the possibly everything is perfect. This is the danger. This is the flask. Then uh, let's open it up and see. Uh, that's the easy part on this process. Um, that you don't have to you don't have to um, do much 
when you come to the flask. So I can see some residues of uh, acrylic, but we'll see. I'm curious, is everything come out perfect? Let's see. This denture, this is the upper, should be coming perfect. It came out perfect. I couldn't complain on anything. This is a perfect denture. I don't have to do any repair. Only had to cut this off and then trim a little bit here and there and ready to go. That's it. It's a lot of processing. It's a lot of stuff to do, but um, this is really good. This is the part that I like. So again, this is the lower. Um, we'll see how the lower came out. Uh, by the way, this uh, duplicating material, you can uh, keep it in a really tight container and then um, it will last for a year. You know, you don't have to throw this away. You can clean it all up, take all the acrylic pieces of acrylic off of it and recycle it, you know, but keep it in container in really room temperature environment. So that way doesn't, um, doesn't dry, out, dry out on you. So um, it's recyclable. So then you can, uh, here is this one here. I like how it looks and is also perfect. As you can see, oh, my thing fell out to the ground, but don't worry, I take care of it. So here, um, this is the good part of this, that there is no stones all over it. Uh, it comes out really nice and clean. And, um, Again, um, this is it for today. Uh, again, don't forget to subscribe and uh, make a comment and hit the like button. And uh, gonna see the rest of this video and show you exactly how to finish it. This is called Cold Cure. Cold Cure Processing. Remember, Cold Cure is one of those uh, one way to make dentures and uh, heat cure is another process which is I already show you is one of the videos link below and um, again um, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.